All right, so now I'm going to show you my result or my process for creating the, the second map layout. So this is for the Indiana data. So first thing I want to do is get the symbology the way that I want. So I'm going to go to a symbology. Uh, specifically, we want to map median income. So I'm going to change this from percent over 55 to median income. We don't need to really normalize that. Um, uh, the unnatural breaks is fine. Again, you could go in here and, and change that if you wanted. Um, I'm going to change the color ramp. Uh, greens kind of relate to money. So kind of, that kind of makes sense. Okay, so there we have a symbology. What I would like to do with the labels is make them a little bit more uh, specific to the, to the, the unit of measurement. So we're going to add in there dollar signs and then the comma separator to make them a bit more appropriate for what we're trying to actually show. Oops, oh, that looks good. Okay, that looks good. All right, so we got our comma separators and our dollar signs. All right, I think that's good enough. So now let's go to a new layout. So we're going to go to insert and then new layout and then add a new layout. Again, you can change the paper size if you want underneath the properties here. Let's leave it as an 8.5 by 11. Okay, so now I'm going to go to insert and I need to insert my map frame. Again, all your maps should be there. So I'm going to grab this and add that in. All right, so that's probably, again, not zoomed in enough. So I'd like to uh, zoom in a bit. So to do that, we need to activate the map and then zoom. We might be able to get away with making this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to pull this down a bit and then activate it again and then try to zoom in. Okay, I think that looks fine. All right, um, I don't feel like I need this neat line so I'm going to try to get rid of that. So if we go over here to the map frame object and open up its properties, we should be able to go to the paint tool um, icon there for display and then the border is currently set to a one point black border and we could either zero that out or make it transparent. So I'm just going to do no color. So now we should just have the map object with no border. Okay. So now I would like to add in some map elements. So I'm going to start off with the legend. So I'm going to go to legend. Again, be clicked on the map that you want to show. In this case, we only have one, so again, it doesn't really matter. I don't really think we need to have the layer name or the heading, so we'll get rid of that. Actually, we'll leave we'll leave the heading this time. Yeah, there we go. And then I think that's a little small, so we'll go to format. And again, bump the size up, maybe try 16 and maybe 18. That looks good. All right, there we go. Um, if I wanted to do any editing to this after the fact, I could as a graphic. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to right click on it and do convert to graphic. So note, once you convert something to a graphic, it's no longer dynamic. So if you wanted to make any edits, it's not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to, or if you make any edits to the symbology, it's not going to update the legend. So you generally do this at the end. So uh, it's a graphic now. So now I'm going to ungroup it. So I have different components and then I'm going to maybe make this a bit bigger, maybe 22, and maybe I'll set it to bold. So now again, we're just able to edit the individual pieces of the legend. All right, um, so now we want a north arrow. Again, we'll click on the map that we're referencing it to. I'm gonna add in a simple north arrow. Again, there's lots of options. Just gonna add in this one. Maybe we'll put it down here in the corner. And we'll add in a, a scale bar. So we'll go to scale bar. Again, a pretty simple one. I'm gonna use this one. 
Uh, since this is the U.S., I think miles makes sense. But let's, again, change this to a, a different font, bump up the label size a bit, and for design, let's just do the divisions, and then I think that's actually pretty good. Okay, and let's see if I expand this out a bit to get to 100. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. All right, um, next we'd like to add a title. We'll do that up here at the top. So go to Insert, Text, add in a text box. And then we'll say Median Income by County for Indiana. That's a little big, so we're going to need to step down the size of that a bit. Maybe we'll try, yeah, that'll work, 36. All right. Okay. Um, what else do we need? I guess we also needed to reference the uh, the the census. So we'll add in another text box. Maybe try to do that down here, and we'll do data from U.S. Census. I think that looks pretty good. Generally, just check and see. I like all my fonts to be the same. Okay, I don't think that's too bad. All right, again, to save that out, you would just go to Share, Layout, and then now, just for the, let's do a different format. I'm just going to save it as a PDF. So we'll call that Indiana Map. I'm going to save that to my desktop. And let's make sure that that worked. And that should open in, OK, it opened in my Acrobat. OK, so that's our layout. OK, so that's an example of a second map layout um, here in ArcPro.